Okay, so we took a quick break and we've swapped our key light out again for the Kino flow I told you about. Uh, this one is loaded with four four foot, 3200 Kelvin balanced, photographically corrected fluorescent tubes. Say that five times fast. Okay, this is designed to work uh, as a portable unit. Um, they're great for photography, and uh, ever since we've been using them on motion pictures, um, they've really sped up the process of set lighting uh, a great deal. They're very flexible, they look very good. Almost anywhere you put them on the floor, like I said, just with the softbox, they're very easy to place and you get a magic look out of these almost instantly. Uh, what we've got right now is we have a, uh, a four by four, we call it four tubes, four foot long, oriented in a vertical position. And we're gonna turn it on. And the nice thing about a Kino flow is we can turn them on a bubble at a time and we can control them a bubble at a time. So let's go ahead and show you all four. And our exposure on this guy at 800 ISO should be about a four and a half. And it's exactly a four and a half at 800 ISO. Now, if that looks a little bit spicy to camera, if you're looking on your monitor and you feel like it's a little bit too bright, we can turn off, say, let's turn off one bubble. And we can start knocking down the exposure. That should give you about a four and a third. And four and two tenths, okay? If we kill another bubble, we'll be just under a four at that point. And that's uh, about a two eight and seven tenths. So it's a third under four. So we'll add that one tube back on. And so we like three out of four tubes. That's the flexibility of a Kino flow. Instead of dropping scrims or adding layers of diffusion to a Kino flow, it's already a soft source. So all we have to do are turn bubbles on or bubbles off to balance our exposure. We can work very quickly. The other nice thing about a Kino flow is you can change the tubes out from 3200 Kelvin balance to 5600 Kelvin, that's daylight. Or we also have alternate colors like 2900, which is deep tungsten. We also have Kino flow gold, Kino flow green, Kino flow red, Kino flow super blue. Um, we have a number of uh, tubes that we can swap out uh, in exchange for the 3200 Kelvin. If we want to light green screens or light blue screens, if we want colored effects, if we want effects for dance club, uh, the super blue is a very interesting uh, uh, look that we used on Bad Boys 2 for the interiors of the dance club. Um, and of course, having the Kino Flow 2900 is very nice if you're working predominantly with tungsten values on stage or on set and you want that nice warm look without having to add a uh, quarter CT uh, straw to all of the fixtures and spending a lot of money on gel, you can just order the 2900 Kelvin tubes from your rental house and tube up with 2900 Kelvin and you're already plus warm on all of your Kino fixtures, which is a very nice way to start the day. Um, this is oriented uh, vertically. You can also orient this guy uh, horizontally. Let's show them a horizontal Kino flow really quick. And what it should do is it should start opening up the wrap of the fixture a little bit when we go horizontal. We probably want to move in a little bit closer as well when we do that. Tilt down slightly and raise it up. Let's raise that up to a little bit above eye level. One stem ought to be good. And move in, uh, move in about, why don't we two-leg it almost uh, on the edge of that uh, riser there. Go ahead, and, go ahead and move it in about two feet. You can see how it has a very broad look when you go horizontal. And that's our four and a half again, okay? But it has a fuller look to it now. It's still very soft, but it has a volume that's increased now uh, quite a bit, and it's covering quite an area. This would be a nice look if we had another another individual at the table with Kayla, maybe having drinks and uh, talking about how their day went or having coffee or whatever. It covers me nicely, it covers her nicely, and it covers for multiple cameras as well, as you can see. Almost all of the angles that we have working right now, this light is kind of working for all four. So it's a pretty nice fixture, very flexible in that regard. Let's move it around, show them what the uh, three o'clock half-light position would look like. That's pretty good there. Let's loop that cable up over the fixture, the head there, so it doesn't uh, pull your light down. There we go. 
And let's just slowly, this is our half flight position. That's pretty good. Exposure wise, that's the same. Maybe a little bit spicy at this point. Let's just start sliding it towards the three cameras there. And let's watch it open up on the front of Kayla's face. That's not bad. Let's stop right there. And let's go ahead and go back vertically with that. Go ahead and pan it, pan it a little bit right. Yeah, there we go. And slide it back until your leg hits the riser there. And a little bit lamp right as well, about two feet lamp right. That's pretty good. That's not bad. So now, Kayla, look to me and just move around in that space a little bit. That's kind of nice. If you look over this way, so the Kino has a nice application. It maps nicely on a three-dimensional surface like someone's face. It's a very flexible leg. And let's just uh, really quick, let me show you if I snap on. Can you snap that up real quick? Let's get a sense of the shape of the Kino without the edge light. And go ahead and snap it back on. So it's very nice. It's a nice option to the softbox. It's maybe a little bit quicker to deploy than the softbox. It has a little bit more flexibility than the softbox because of the different color tubes we can put in it. Uh, it's also a low wattage, low ampacity fixture, so it's not using a great deal of wall power. So you can have a lot of Kino flows on set and not need a lot of set power because each one of these fixtures pulls a very minimal amount of electricity. So they're economical in that regard as well. In fact, I think per watt per capita, the Kino flow is the most efficient powered fixture on the set. So these uh, add the advantage of economy, uh, speed and efficiency, flexibility, and they have, I think they have a beautiful look. So the last thing I wanna show you now is I wanna step into the uh, next generation of set lighting. Uh, 21st century uh, equivalent to the Kino flow now is the one by one bicolor LED panel. And I want to show you what that looks like in relationship to the Kino and the softbox. I think you'd be very uh, interested in the results.